Astra, a project of UH's Space Hardware Club, is proud to present our 2023 rover and its ability to climb over rocks, lift heavy objects, navigate autonomously, detect signs of life, and much more. Our team of 40 plus students has worked tirelessly since our competition in 2022 to improve the rover's performance. The core rover module, consisting of a welded aluminum chassis, suspension, and drivetrain, supports all three rover configurations. With the newly developed carbon fiber suspension and inline drivetrain system, the rover has seen an increase in traversing performance. The trapezoidal suspension geometry increases the ground clearance, allowing the rover to successfully drive over more hazardous obstacles. The drivetrain system uses Neo 550 brushless motors integrated with the 64 to 1 planetary gearbox, providing each wheel with a stall torque of 62 newton meters. This is a major increase compared to last year's system allowing the rover to drive over curbs and climb vertical faces. With access to the university's machine shop, our mechanical team was able to manufacture high quality components such as our rocker pivot housings, gearbox housings, and chassis members. During the 2022 competition, we identified that the wheels required more traction to be effective in the operational terrain. To address this, a larger diameter composite wheel with a carbon fiber rim is being developed for the rover. The new wheel design consists of two carbon fiber discs bonded together at their centers to create a rim. A compliant tread sleeve printed from TPU bonds the disc to create the wheel. The wheels integrate to the rover using a wheel hub insert that attaches to the gearboxes. A subscale wheel has been built to prove out the fabrication processes. No issues were identified during the prototyping phase and we are in process of manufacturing full scale wheels that will be finished prior to competition. The arm module consists of the six degrees of freedom arm, housing for electronics, and an independent power supply. Its assembly is composed from carbon fiber composites to titanium metals, which provides a lightweight but strong structure that supports lifting and dragging of loads greater than five kilograms. The movement is managed by three linear actuators, which control the extension of the arm and three servo motors that rotate the end effector using a bevel gear system. This configuration allows the arm to reach a distance of 1.9 meters and can grasp objects up to 5.4 centimeters wide. A TPU grip surface on the end effector allows us to securely grasp objects critical for equipment servicing tasks. The core rover submodule is controlled by an NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX. The Jetson hosts a RAW software stack that handles command and message passing between the various rover submodules and the base station. Furthermore, the Jetson is equipped with a hardware video encoder that allows for real-time compression of video streams from the onboard rover chassis cameras. The ARM and biosensor submodules are each equipped with a Raspberry Pi to provide RAW's integration, high-low communication, and video stream relaying capabilities. TNT microcontrollers are used to directly interface with low-level hardware on each submodule. The rover is equipped with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi radio that relays Ethernet packets between the base station and rover, enabling high bandwidth communication. This year's rover software augments last year's waypoint navigation system by adding the ability to detect the presence and location of Aruco tags in a video stream, which will enable the rover to search and navigate to and through them. The biosensor for this year's competition has been designed to intake six different soil samples from six different soil sites. The linear actuator on the front of the module moves the tubes from their retracted driving position into their extended down position. Once the tube is lined up for taking in soil, the cyclonic separator and fan system intakes the soil and dispenses the sample into individual sample collection tubes. A small measuring cup converts an imprecise amount of collected sample into a precise amount by volume. There are 18 sample collection tubes on our carousel allowing for three separate samples from each soil site to be collected. Two of these samples will be experimented on with both a BCA reagent and with test strips. A third sample will be collected for potential handoff to the judges. Each test tube's lid will be closed to prevent spilling when handing off to the judges. Our internal cameras view color metric changes for both our BCA and test strip, and we visually interpret the results to determine which soil is the most promising to support life. Thank you for your consideration, and we hope to see you in Utah this summer.